Boom, there it is. I was waiting for this question. So it's two things. Number one is the context. We're talking about eating with unwashed hands here. The Pharisees come to Yeshua and ask them, why are your disciples eating with unwashed hands? So clue number one, Yeshua is answering the question about eating with unwashed hands. What does that have to do with anything? Who cares? You remember when I said that there was an important distinction between unclean and unholy? The Greek word being used here is the unholy word, not the unclean word. Another translation that would actually be common. Jews in the first century also avoided eating common food, saying it was unkosher. In order to maintain a higher ritual state of purity, they wouldn't just eat kosher, they would also eat food that was good enough for temple sacrifice. And if you eat with unwashed hands or unbaptized hands, then it was no longer clean enough for the temple. At no point does Yeshua say it makes anybody unclean, as in unkosher. He didn't declare all foods kosher. If he had done that, he would have disqualified himself as being the Messiah. Eating unholy kosher food is not what defiles you. Part 2 answering this question. This is where we're going to hurt some feelings. But it's possible that your translations are lying to you. I know some of you just fainted. <laughs> Let me show you. You should pause here so you can read this. And this is the translation I use. You can read this one too. So if you read those, you'll notice that the interlinear version and also my translation that I use don't word it the same way other translations do. Usually you'll see it done like this in parentheses. It's a little dishonest, right? This is the number one reason why you shouldn't trust a translation all the time. Actually, I can come up with a hundred reasons why you shouldn't trust a translation all the time, but this is a good one. Because in the original documents, it doesn't read like, thus he cleansed all foods, like a digression. It's part of the whole sentence. The food goes into the body, and then the body purges that food. If you're wondering a translation I use, it's actually a messianic translation called the Holy Scriptures Tree of Life version. I don't use it for everything. Actually, the other version that I showed you is the one I use the most. That one's the CSB, the Christian Standard Bible. But you can see even my favorite translation has some problems.